In this video, I will show you how to make video scribe ready animated SVGs right inside of Adobe Illustrator. So make sure to stay tuned because that's coming right up. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Design with Muni. I'm Muni, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make animated images in the form of SVGs, of course, the essential stroke vector graphics uh, that are animated especially for video scribe inside of Adobe Illustrator. So if, if this is one of my first videos you're watching, then I upload three times a week about graphic design, logo design, tutorials, something like this. So make sure to subscribe, oh and also hit the bell icon to stay notified every time I upload a new video. So now that's the sign, let's jump into the tutorial. So, of course, uh, if you want to animate an, uh, a PNG ready for video, subs uh, video scribe, uh, you n need that reference image. So, I don't have a particular image, but I found one online, specifically on shutterstock.com, and I'm gonna be using that. So, here I have an illustrator document of 1000 pixels wide and 1000 pixels tall and uh, I have the image on my clipboard. I'm gonna paste that and I'm gonna just align that, make it a little bit big. I'm gonna go to the layers panel and double click on the text to rename and I'm gonna set the name to template. Now, I'm going to double click the layer itself and I'm going to hit template and change the color to an ugly color like black or light gray. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Alt click the create new layer button and I'm going to set the name to something like lines. Because I'm doing this is because the lines must be strokes. They cannot be shapes. They have to be in stroke form. And the color must be in shape. So, uh, I'm gonna just uh, open the line layer, I'm gonna let's, uh, illustrate this uh, doodle, for example, I'm gonna set my strokes to black and fill to none, and open up the strokes panel, I'm gonna set my cap to round cap, and corner to round join. It just, it's not necessary, but it just gives that really um, whiteboardy marker, markery look to your strokes. So now there are two methods for this. You can either use the pencil, the automatic drawing method I'm gonna talk about in a later video, or you can use pen tool. Now I like to use pencil, but as uh, I'm not that really good of a drawer much, and uh, I'm drawing in a mouse, so I'm gonna just use the pen tool to create the lines. Oh, and if you want to learn more about pen tool, watch my video on how to use, how to properly use pen tool inside of Adobe Illustrator. So, after the initial lines have been set up, I'm gonna just format them a little bit uh, normally by increasing the weight. These, and I'm gonna decrease the stroke weight of the details of the sweater. <laughs> So now that we have the lines ready, of course we can just leave them right now and you can skip the coloring part of the video, but uh, let's just add uh, the colors into it, let's fill colors. So I'm gonna alt click the create new layer button to create a new layer and open up the layer options panel at the time. I'm gonna set the name to something like colors I'm gonna lock the lines layer. And uh, let's uh, add something like a, let's make the stroke to none and let's make the fill to a nice blue color. Something like that, I'm gonna open up the pen tool. I'm gonna go on, accord, on the borders just like that. 
do like this. So let's just paint it. Make sure it's not going out, but if it's going out, eh, just leave that. Uh, white but videos are meant to be a little bit rough, it doesn't need to be perfect. So after that color fill has been created, let's move the color layer to down. And you can see we have something here. Um, so now let's uh, make go to select the layer, let's uh, brown. Oh, excuse me, open up the brightness, it makes it a little bit bright. I'll go, go to saturation, let's make a little saturated, something like that. And now let's fill this part over here. Um, let's uh, increase the saturation a little bit and decrease the brightness. And let's fill in this one too. So while the colors aren't uh, that good, um, uh, I guess this is just demonstration purposes. I'm gonna lock uh, the colors layer. I'm gonna create a new layer. Alt click that. I'm gonna rename this to brush. Now in a moment, I'm gonna explain you what it does. But for now, let's uh, select the fill to none and set the stroke to a black color. Now I'm gonna hold the pencil tool, I'm gonna uh, mark uh, the strokes on all of the object or the illustration. So now I'm gonna inc I'll go to strokes panel, open up the cap to round cap and the corner to round corner. I'm gonna increase the stroke until it covers the whole illustration so I can no longer see the illustration. Uh, now I'm gonna select this layer by clicking this label right there. I'm gonna set the opacity to 0%. So, now what's happening actually? When video scribe reads it, it's gonna first uh, go uh, set the marker to these strokes, these lines. These are strokes actually. But when uh, these are the shapes, uh, they aren't that very well colored. If we don't do this brushy thingy, then it's gonna do a very bad outline of the color and just fill it instantly. So that's not very good. So once the brush is here, it's gonna follow this path and it's gonna color it. It's gonna draw this while revealing the inside color. So. Uh, that's how normally it works. So, uh, the saving process is actually as important as the drawing one. So if you want to just instantly save this, go to File, Save. Uh, save the type as, of course, SVG. Let's just save this. And now in the uh, Settings panel, I'm gonna set the image location, make sure it is embedded. And I'm gonna hit more options and uh, make sure the CSS properties. It's not the style elements, not style attributions, but it's presentation attributes. And there are no needs for anything here checked. So I'm gonna hit OK. And now if we just open this here, it's not gonna, it's uh, nothing gonna happen actually, and I don't even have video scribe installed now, but believe me, it's gonna work really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, then make sure to leave a like on the video, if you loved it, then make sure to subscribe, check this is, this video is part of my graphic design tutorial series. Make sure to check out the series from the card above if you haven't checked it out already. Check out my other awesome content on the channel. This has been Munib and until then, see you later.